Are you thinking about moving to Winchester, California? Because in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a map tour of Winchester, California. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the good, the bad, the ugly, the things to do, areas to go, the everything in between. So stay tuned because we're going to be getting after it right now. So just to kind of give you guys a little bit of insight about Winchester, I say this in all my videos, my pro and cons in my vlog tour video of Winchester. It does have a population of over 2,500 people and it is going to be close to surpassing 3,000 soon. Uh, Winchester, it is, um, it's not really up and coming, but it's up and coming because they're constantly building a lot of new constructions as we speak. I know about three different new construction sites that you know have already broken ground, are building, are framing, putting everything in. And so that's a one cool little feature about Winchester is you know they have those options for brand new homes. And now, like I mentioned in my other videos, I see Winchester is kind of divided into two. You have the north side of Winchester and then you have the south side of Winchester, right? The north side is original, old school, like Hey, the original hist history of Winchester at the south side, it's the newer community, uh, newer grounds, where it's kind of really Marietta slash Temecula, but still considered Winchester. And then you have the central Winchester, where there's just a bunch, bunch of raw land that, you know, maybe one day they'll start building on it. The only thing really that they have going on there is a Winchester swap meet. And I'll show you guys in this, this video where it's actually at. And so that's just a little bit about Winchester. Um, it is kind of really divided. Winchester, it is a small town community. And so if you love the slow pace of slow pace living, Winchester, California just might be the place for you, right? If you love that small town feeling, that small pace living, hey, Winchester is not going to be bad. But it's also really cool because you're surrounded by bigger, bigger cities. Now, I'm going to say this. If you guys do want to head on to the supermarkets, or you guys wanted to head on to the home improvement stores or you know the big banks or whatever the case may be maybe the hospitals etc etc you will have to branch out outside of winchester to get to these places such as marietta or menifee or temecula right winchester is just so small it don't it doesn't have the variety of options that you know the surrounding cities have not a bad thing whatsoever it's actually a great thing if you, again if you love that slow pace of living but overall, Winchester is a great area. What we're going to do is we're going to jump on the computer and I'm going to show, share, you guys, share with you guys a little bit more about Winchester, the things to do, and some popular areas and just kind of show you just Winchester in general. Before I do, if this is your guys' first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in Winchester, California, then subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you guys can be the first to know about the current market in Winchester, California. My name is Jonathan. We get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move. And we absolutely love it. So whether you guys are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom one-on-one -on -one so we can help you make that smooth move to Winchester, California. Let's get on to the video. All right, guys and gals, so here we are. We are on the map portion of this video. So I have Winchester all pulled up and I'm gonna outline it just so you guys can see where Winchester is really at. So this is kind of all Winchester. Uh, I kind of cut into a little bit of Marietta, but that's okay. That just kind of gives you guys a little glimpse about Winchester. So this right here, Spencer's Crossing is actually part of Marietta. But that's all right. You guys kind of get the gist of where Winchester at. It's really, you know, stopping right there. So I always like to show you guys geographically where, you know, each city is within Southern California. And so if you pay attention, again, I personally, I love Riverside County and especially southwestern cities for the fact that when you look on a map in Southern California, you're really in the center of all the major four major cities and um, counties right so for example you guys we have LA 
which is hello right here. We have San Diego, hello, sunny San Diego. We also have inland over here, Palm Springs, Cathedral City. And then up north, you guys, what I like to always point out is Big Bear. I mean, there's also San Bernardino, but you know, uh, Big Bear is a, a more of an area people would love to go to. And so, if you guys really look at it, I mean, we're just kind of dead in the center. And I love it because if you guys really wanted that city life, because you're, you know, you're bored for the weekend, you guys could head on to LA and do, you know, tremendous amounts of things. Or you could even go to beautiful sunny San Diego. Or maybe you guys kind of want to chill and go to Orange County. You guys absolutely could. And all of the, all of these areas here, you got LA, maybe less than an ha hour and a half. You have Orange County, less than an hour. San Diego, an hour. You have Palm Springs, an hour. Big Bear, an hour. Everything is less than two hours away, which is really cool. If you guys ever really get bored, I mean, if you're choosing to live in Winchester, it's because you love a small town, small time, small town environment, and you probably don't really like the city that much. But just in case you do, you do want to explore, you know, get to know Southern California and its history, you definitely have that options. Uh, you definitely have options. Now let's talk about where can you guys go to your nearest airport? Well, there's a small little airport literally right here in French Valley that you guys really can't um, go places. It's just like a little commercial spot where little sports planes and people that have their own personal little plane can take off from, right? But if you guys really wanted to fly out to somewhere, you guys can head on to Ontario, Ontario Airport. And I'll show you guys how far that is. So if we're looking from Winchester, California, right to the Ontario International Airport. You guys are only, that's with traffic right now, 57 minutes, less than an hour drive, 45 miles. You know, without the traffic, you guys are probably looking at realistically more of a 45 to, to 50 minute drive. Now, if you want to go to LAX, you're looking at like an hour 25. Uh, San Diego International Airport, you're probably looking an hour to hour 15. So that's really cool is that you you have this accessibility to all these international airports that are not too far away. As well as, you know, you guys can see some lakes around you guys. Canyon Lake, Lake Osonor. You also have Diamond Valley Lake, Diamond Valley Lake, uh, Lake Skinner. So really cool, neat thing about Winchester is that you're kind of around those things. Now, like I mentioned in my pro and con video, in my vlog tour, there's not a whole lot going on within Winchester itself. Majority of the times, nine out of 10 times, if you guys really wanted to go do your everyday, you know, wants and needs, go shopping, groceries, you know, maintenance on your cars or whatever the case may be, go to the bank, you're probably gonna have to venture out a little bit into one of the other uh, cities nearby, such as Hemet, Menifee, and Marietta and sometimes Temecula as well. And so if you are living on the north side of Hemet, I'm sorry, Winchester, if you're living kind of over here on the east side, you're most likely gonna be going to Hemet for Walmart, Target, Lowe's, right? If you guys are living over here on the west side of Winchester, a lot of new construction going on, right? You guys are gonna be driving to Menifee over here to go to the Target, to the Lowe's, or the banks, whatever the case may be. Now, if you guys aren't living up north in general, I'm gonna tell you guys, we'll, you'll most likely be driving into Marietta or Temecula. So for example, if you're living in the community out here, um, let's say, you know, one of these houses over here, uh, you'll most likely be driving to Marietta out here to Costco and Target, right, to go shopping. Um, or you could even go south down to 79 on Winchester Road and go to, let me exit that out for you guys, maybe next time. You guys will be coming out here to Temecula, to the mall, to the other Costco, Trader Joe's, Lowe's, the banks, all the restaurants, as well as you guys could always come to Sam's Club if you guys are into Sam's Club or Amazon Fresh right over here. And so that's just, a, that's just something to always consider is that you guys will be going into you know different cities to get your guys's every day wants and needs now I will mention now that I'm gonna get into it 
There is a little country market here in North Winchester. It's a little Winchester Farms country market where you guys can get some groceries. Uh, they do have a couple liquor stores as well that can, you know, get you guys some groceries that you guys uh, need or want. And so that's one of the things to do if you guys live within Winchester, California, is you do have this Winchester Country Market. Now, if I zoom in here, you guys see my vlog tour. I was actually shooting out here off uh, Simpsons Road. Um, you guys do have some cool little restaurants. Chris's Burger, Whiskey Babe's Little Bar, uh, Liquor Store, so Winchester Liquor Market. This is the one that is the most popular for the fact that it's kind of really appealing so if you're driving by it just looks like an old historic building it looks just like this yes with like the old wooden siding so that's really cool it kind of uh has that old old school feeling to it which is really neat so down here is really where the downtown winchester is kind of really at you do have the market a couple gas stations up here uh, but that's really all to the north side of winchester I do want to point out some of the cool things that you guys can do is check out Patterson House Museum. It's a little historic museum within Winchester that, you know, just it has history and it's really cool to come check things out and kind of learn the old culture and what they, you know, what they have going on here. Now, uh, is it like this really kept up museum? No, absolutely not. Uh, but it's still really neat to come and see the history of Winchester as well as Sweetwater Farms. It's a small little farm in Winchester, but it's really nice, it's really cool. I mean, my kids enjoy it when, when we go there, and you guys can see that, hey, you know, they got a lot of photo shoots going on because it, it's that type of place where you guys can go and do that stuff. So it's really neat that they do have these, these things for you guys. So if you guys ever want to go check out a little small little farm with some cool little animals, you absolutely could in Winchester. So, like as you may know, Winchester definitely has a mixed rural feeling type of living environment. So it can get really rural, but also really residential, especially when you're looking at the newer constructions down south of Winchester. It just feels like any other town, right? Really residential, a bunch of track homes, parks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when you're out here in the on the north side of Winchester, it's it's very it's very historic. You know, you got older homes that are original. You know, that have more land, and uh, uh, you know, obviously over here the properties just in general have a little bit more land because of you know the track homes. But they are starting to build newer homes. Like if you guys saw my vlog tour, I was walking here on the KB Homes Autumn Creek showing you guys a house what it was currently selling for so yes they are starting to build there's actually a lot of new construction going on within winchester you guys see autumn uh lennar here and there's some down south as well and so that's just something to always keep in mind is they are constantly building and so the population i say it's a little north over 2500 but it's actually pushing closer to to 3000 so just a little need to know for you guys now that is kind of um, all the north side of Winchester. Now I will say this, to get into Winchester, if you guys are coming from the south or from the west, you will be taking this road here that I always assumed was called Dominguez Parkway, but apparently it's not, and it's called Domingue Coney Parkway. And so <laughs> that is all my fault right there. But to get into Winchester itself, you will be taking Domin Domin Dominguez Parkway. I'm going to call it Dominguez Parkway, right? Because that's what I'm used to. So you guys will either take Dominguez Parkway or Winchester Road, the 79, to get into Winchester if you're coming from down south, right? If you're coming from up north, you're going to be taking the 74 to get into Winchester. So there's really only three different ways to get into Winchester, and it's those three main roads, which is the 74, uh, Dominguez Parkway, it's not Dominguez, you guys, um, and Winchester Road. Now, I kind of mentioned this in my pro and con videos that it is, that is kind of one of the cons about living in Winchester, especially if you, you know, don't work from home or locally. And let's say you do work maybe in the city like San Diego or you work in, you know, Riverside, is that you do have to drive some ways just to get inland into your home. So, for, 
for example, if you guys lived out here in South Winchester, you're most likely, if you're coming from the South, excuse me, you'll be taking the 79 on Winchester Road, driving about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how heavy the traffic is, just to get up here in your residential area. Or you could, you know, try to drive through the 15, hop on the 215 to get onto Clinton Keith and drive that way, right? Whichever way you guys take, it's going to take 15 minutes here, 15 minutes through there, probably even longer. And if you guys are driving from west to east, you guys another 10 minutes just to drive into Winchester if you're living on the north side. It's probably not as bad here on the Dominicone Parkway. Uh, however, it's just something to always consider that you will be driving a little bit inland just to get your, to you guys' neighborhood. Now, let me move on with this video, all right? So, every Saturday and Sunday, really cool thing that happens is they have the Winchester Swap Meet. It's actually a really cool little swap meet that they got going on in Winchester. It's like literally in the middle of nowhere when you're driving on Winchester Road, and but it's... I mean, it's really neat, and it's really cool that they have all these things. Yes, there are some little ducks there, um, but they sell some really awesome stuff, some cool little toys, so if you do have kids, take them. I mean, they sell some cool, yeah, you guys actually see them right here, some cool little toys and some good food and uh, just really crafty stuff, like homemade stuff that people kind of bring and sell to you guys. That's, I support local, small local businesses, so I'm all about it, but it's just a really neat place to stop by. If you guys, you know, want to do something on Saturday or Sunday, just walk around. I will say one thing, always bring water because it can get really, really hot. So that's just the cool thing about Winchester, Winchester is that they do host a swap meet. And not every city does. Now, let me move on so you guys don't have to get bored to death by me talking about the swap meet, right? Which is really cool, by the way. You guys could always check out, if you're living in Winchester and you want to get outdoors and you want something to see, you have the Clay, uh, Clayton Record um, Junior Viewpoint. Clayton A. Record Junior Viewpoint, I'm sorry, just, just to kind of clarify that. It is a really sweet spot if you guys love views, you love scenery, you guys like to go out and about to kind of hike a little bit. You guys need to come check it out. It's just an amazing, amazing view awesome scenery and it just kind of helps you wind and relax so if you are that type of person would you like to go outdoor by all means check it out be careful there is snakes and you guys got to you know be aware that there is rattlesnakes here in california especially southern california uh, so you just always need to be aware and alert there but that goes for any trail really here in california but really cool thing that you guys can come out here to Diamond Valley Lake and check that out. Now this is more of a central Winchester and we're going to be moving a little bit south now just so I can show you guys what they got going on here. Now I show this in my vlog tour, Abella Sports Park. Really neat sports park and I really love this about Winchester that they made this park. Now this park is freaking amazing. Now, it connects to another park, Brookfield Park as well, that's over here on this end. But if you guys live on the south side and you have active kids or you just want them to run out of energy or you yourself want to go out and do some things, go out to Bella Sports Park. It's, it's so neat. They have this cool little bridge that you guys will see walking in my vlog tour. They do have restrooms. They have softball field, volleyball courts basketball fields, tennis courts. They have the whole shebang here at this sports park. They have little gazebos so you guys can have picnics and stuff like that, little jungle gyms. And so it's a really neat park, really well maintained. It's not dirty whatsoever. It's always clean and they always guys they always have a, you know staff there just constantly working. So that's a really cool thing about Winchester is that they did add the Abella Sports Park and it's just a really nice place if you guys want to take your kids just to hang out for the day, wine to relax, exert their energy. So this is the Abella Sports Park here, and then over here you have Brookfield Park. Um, yep, and so Brookfield Park is just another little park that's connected, and they, they have a little trail that connects to each other. Uh, but it's also just a little neat little park there in Winchester, side by side to the sports park that you guys can always go to and check out. 
you know, it's meant for everybody. It's a public park, so have at it. Have a great time, and I personally love it. Now, I did mention if you do live on the south side of Winchester, um, I, I, I did say there's not a whole lot going on, but they have recently within, you know, the, the year of past year or two, they did open up this grocery outlet in this little plaza here. And it's actually really cool. Back in the days, they didn't have that. I used to live over here on the east side of Marietta, um, right over here. I used to live on the east side. And when I moved here, none of this was here. And this was in 2015. And I used to remember, to, I used to remember, man, there's really nothing up here. But nowadays, in today's society, in today's generation, they're really trying to expand. And I've seen, you know, out here just really grow significantly and that's just a really amazing thing about it in this little plaza here they have a grocery outlet brand new chipotle they just got an auto zone they do have a charging station so if you have an electric car you know you don't have to freak out anymore <laughs> before you used to have to drive all the way south into temecula to to get a charging station if you didn't have one at home right but now they they have it and that's a really cool thing about it is this little plaza here let me see if I can drop my little guy into this area. Is that they do have these options now for everybody. So that's a really cool thing. I'm sorry, I'm trying to pop up my little guy. Where are we at? My little guy. All right. Uh, here we are. Why was I going to drawing a blank? So I can show you guys what this cool little plaza looks like right now. So technical difficulties with my laptop. Okay, there you go. Here we are. So, <laughs> this is exactly what it looked like maybe a year ago. It looks completely different today. There's a whole plaza there with the grocery outlet, the auto zone, the Chipotle. It's actually really neat. So, obviously Google Maps has not updated this. So, sorry for wasting you guys' time there. But, at any rate, they do have that plaza there. As well as, if you drive, you know... Two minutes south, you guys do have this plaza as well, which hosts Starbucks, Stater Bros, T-Mobile, the Pizza Factory, really good spot to go, Rob a Grill, Farmer's Boy, um, this taco shop that I personally love. Um, if you guys like some good authentic Mexican food, it's a good spot right here. I used to get some, some Molinas, that's what they're called, Molinas, and they were just amazing. And so... They do have a crunch fitness as well, but we're kind of pushing into Marietta here, so I didn't want to really talk too much about that. But they do have these things now here in the south side of Winchester. Yes, they're not big grocery stores whatsoever or supermarkets. Um, however, they can definitely get the job done. They do have gas stations. So that's, again, a really neat feature about Winchester. All right, you guys. And so just to kind of finish off here in the south side, is if you guys ever wanted to head on to Lake Skinner, you absolutely could. It's a little reservoir here within Winchester slash Marietta that you guys can go to, hike, bike, uh, saddle fish. Um, people do go horseback riding, so that's a really cool thing. Um, and they also have a campsite, so if you guys ever just wanted to you know, wine and relax, you guys could. And another cool thing about this reservoir, uh, Lake Skinner, is this is where they host the Temecula Valley Balloon and Wine Festival every single year. It's a cool little, uh, not it's not little, it's actually a pretty big festival here that, I mean, you guys ever check out? It's, a, it's just amazing. Bunch of vendors, bunch of food, bunch of drinks, live music. It's just a cool spot to go. I mean, I used to go back in the days, back in the days prior to COVID. You know, COVID kind of changed things up a little bit. But that's okay, they're having it again this year. I'm sorry, next year. So always just check it out. It's a really cool thing to you know get out and about and meet people as well. So that right there, you guys, is really all what Winchester has to offer. Um, overall, Winchester is a great spot to be. I, I love it. It's a smaller community. Again, if you love the small knit community, small tight knit community, then Winchester's probably going to be for you. Not a whole lot going on within Winchester itself, again, but they are constantly expanding and growing. And so that is a plus about Winchester. So if you're looking, you know, five to ten years from now, 
it might com look completely different, you know, from what it looks like today, from where it looked like, you know, seven years ago when I moved to the east side of Marietta and I saw, you know, nothing in Winchester. And now I look at it today and I'm like, wow, a lot has really changed. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was useful to you guys. Thank you guys for watching Living in South California.